children are being forced to slave away in forced labor camps while brutal leader Kim Jong-un continues to live a life of luxury, it has been claimed. North Korea expert Gordon Chang explained people living in the secretive state suffer from devastating conditions. It comes as major powers across the globe continue to slap the hermit kingdom with harsh sanctions, grinding the nation's economy to a standstill. In response, the North has ratcheted up its nuclear and ballistic missile program in a desperate bid to bring the U.S. to the negotiating table. Speaking to Express Co. UK, Mr. Cheng said, We do focus on the war of words the insults and the threats, and I think the president should go light on those, he's got this point across, he's entertained everybody. There are signs that Donald Trump's plan is working. We're seeing for instance that junior officials in Pyongyang, part of the regime's favorite class are not getting their rations from special distribution channels. There are even stories that children are being rounded up to be put into labor camps so they can turn out products for the regime. The harrowing accounts stand in stark contrast to Tubster Kim's life of luxury. It is widely accepted the obese leader stuffs himself with the finest food and surrounds himself with women he has handpicked to be his companions. The gap in inequality may explain why a border guard, known only by his surname O, fled the country under a hail of bullets. Ten-inch-long parasitic worms had to be removed from his stomach, revealing the appalling conditions of life in the communist nation. Mr. Cheng claimed that this was evidence of frailties within Kim's regime. He added, this soldier was the best of the best. The fact that one of them would defect is an indication that there are real problems.